All right. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton is expected to announce her pick for a running mate at a campaign event in Florida this afternoon, just days away from the Democratic National Convention. Last night, she made a play by play attack on Twitter when Trump delivered his acceptance speech at the RNC. Nancy Cordes has more from Cleveland. I'm with you, the American people. It was one of Trump's biggest applause lines, but it was quickly mocked by the Clinton campaign, which argued he is with everyone but African Americans, Muslims, Latinos, etc. In a statement, Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta said Trump, quote, painted a dark picture of an America in decline, but offered no real solutions. Equal pay for equal work. Ivanka Trump's speech, the Clinton camp noted, sounded a lot like their candidate. Women get equal pay for the work we do. They argued Trump does not share his daughter's concern for working women, issuing this video as evidence. Pregnancy is never, um, it's a wonderful thing for the woman, it's a wonderful thing for the husband. It's certainly an inconvenience for a business. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren did rapid response on The Late Show. He sounded like a dictator of a small country. She's on the short list to be Clinton's VP. We'll learn the final choice today. Could this be the ticket? Could this be the ticket? Is there a chance? Clinton will appear with her running mate in Florida this weekend. And most top Democrats say Virginia Senator Tim Kaine is the one to beat. He played coy when asked about his travel plan. No flights booked, uh, but I'm checking the Greyhounds. Game. Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown was also a finalist. He and Kane are close friends. He's the real deal, and he will serve well if he's the vice president. Nancy Cordes is in Cleveland. As you mentioned, Nancy, Hillary Clinton will introduce her running mate during a campaign uh, event in Florida. What's behind the strategy introducing her running mate now? Well, she's got to do it before the Democratic convention, which begins on Monday. Uh, it's unusual to have these two conventions back to back like this. So she uh, really didn't have a lot of wiggle room. Uh, she's doing it in Florida, partly because it's a battleground state. So why wouldn't you want to make a big splash there? But it's there's also speculation that uh, the choice of Florida as opposed to some other battleground state has to do with the fact that Florida has a large Latino population. And what better state to introduce a running mate who speaks fluent Spanish than Florida. And guess who speaks fluent Spanish, mm -hmm. guys? Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. That's right. He's one of the names being bandied about, uh, Nancy, including uh, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack. So what is she looking for in a VEEP? Well, she's got a, a bunch of different qualifications, and uh, there are a few people out there who really fit the entire description. So, you know, she's going to go with somebody who she feels is the best fit. Uh, for example, she's looking for somebody who she's very comfortable with. Tom Vilsack, Agriculture Secretary, former governor of Iowa, uh, would, would fit that bill. They've known each other for more than 40 years. Uh, Tim Kaine, she certainly worked with him in the Senate, so they have that connection. Um, he's widely viewed as someone who is uh, genial and easy to get along with. He's got a lot of friends in the Senate. Uh, she's looking for somebody with foreign policy experience and that is a criteria that rules out a lot of people frankly who were on the short list people like uh, HUD secretary Julian Castro for example labor secretary Tom Perez uh, people who uh, she might otherwise have an affinity to but might decide uh, at the end of the day don't have all the requisite experience to be able to jump into the job of president uh, on day one if something were to happen to her. Well, you mentioned the Democratic National Convention starts on Monday in Philadelphia. You will be there. Uh, I'm sure you'll be relaxing over the weekend, but what do you think uh, Clinton will be doing over, <laughs> doing over the weekend to prepare? <laughs> Well, I'll be with her, so there won't be a, a ton of relaxation. We actually have a flight uh, shortly uh, to Tampa, where she'll be uh, appearing this afternoon, and then she'll be in Miami with her running mate tomorrow. So this weekend is all about making a big, big splash, trying to uh, wrest all the attention uh, that's been focused on the Republicans this week away from them and back on the Democrats, rebutting some of the things uh, that Donald Trump had to say in his speech and showing uh, that she and her running mate have incredible chemistry uh, and a connection and that they are going to connect with voters in a way that uh, perhaps she couldn't have done on her own. All right, Nancy, hopefully you'll get some downtime on the plane then. <laughs> Nancy Cordes, thank you so much. <laughs>